Welcome to the Penn Street Market video cast. Experience it here on the People Chronicles. Lucine Suhelnik is the director and also the host of this series. But you let me step in for a moment just so I could learn a little bit more about yep. the Penn Street Market. Mm -hmm. So it starts in three weeks. It starts in three weeks. Where on Penn Street? It's right in Penn Square. So uh, we've moved it back to the original location. It's 249 years ago, it was chartered by William Wait a Penn minute. to 249 be there. 249 years. 249 years ago. This is huge historical aspect of what we're doing. Absolutely. And when you say Penn Square, for those who don't know, right mm -hmm. on Penn Square. Where is that? So the market in itself will be on the north side of Penn Street on the 400 block. So 400, uh, 4th Street up to 5th Street uh, with the main stage and the seating area for the community, community art project, all in front of the Farmer's Bank, which is now part of our City of Reading's um, initiative. Oh, mm -hmm. that's the bank with the... Uh the safe the walk in and the safe, safe and, 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 yeah. yes it's There's a beautiful a building there. it's a historical building uh that area of town you know so it only made sense to bring it back to the the original site so i just learned fourth and fifth used to be referred to as queen um prince was it prince and queen uh yeah streets and so um you know that that's what we're doing here and so the market will be on thursdays it opens on june 4th and runs for 17 consecutive weeks until uh september 24th and the hours are 11 30 to 5 30. there's gonna be a lot going thursdays on only? During the thursdays only i have to ask you if this started 249 years ago if you could rewind 249 years everything <laughs> was done by market on the street mm -hmm. a lot has changed why is it important to bring this market back to the 4th and 5th Street, the, the Penn Street Square, Penn Street Market, today in 2015? Well, the, you know, we're looking at revitalizing our downtown area, mm -hmm. and this Penn Square is like the heart of our city. Mm -hmm. And so to bring the farmer's market there uh, as community development, as food access, uh, you know, is an experience uh, to participate in it's it's substantial and you know when we're looking at today's society um, some of the concerns that we have you know in our own downtown areas mm -hmm. the fact that we're surrounded by a very rich agricultural industry in Berks County you know um, closing the gap uh, economically between our farmers um, and our food artisans and the individuals that they're cultivating and working so hard uh, to create and grow these uh, products for um, and the people who really want them you know we talked about in the last series uh, you know children in our community who don't really understand what a cherry is exactly the fruit or where it came from because you know perhaps cherry is only a flavor or a color to them Oh, and a lifesaver so flavor. This is what we're talking about, mm -hmm. educating our community. So there's going to be a lot going on. We're going to have uh, farmer vendors, all local. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as long as you're farming in Berks County or on the fringe perimeter. So we have a few people from Lancaster that we welcome. Well, if anybody's listening to this right now mm -hmm. would like to be a vendor, is it oh, too yes. late to be part Absolutely of this? Absolutely not. No, we, we have a lot of vendor incentives because we want vendors here. So you can sign up as a vendor. If you're interested, you can go to our website, pennstreetmarket.org, okay. um, and you uh, can find that information or call me directly. There must um, be some criteria to be a vendor. What is The criteria maybe? is that you have to grow 50%, at least 50% of the food that you are selling at your stand and you have to be local so you know we we can't allow somebody coming in um and With fruit from new jersey exactly gotcha. nope we're talking about berks county here um we have so much we have orchards mm -hmm. we have farms we have different farms of scales and sizes we have dairies we have bread makers cheese makers uh apiaries you know flower growers and all of them will be represented wow mm -hmm. You know, you just apiaries, flower growers, cheese makers, <laughs> those words and concepts, it's ironic, can be very foreign to an urban community. Mm -hmm. um, many families that have never left Reading mm -hmm. or any other urban area, yet right. Reading is surrounded by the number one industry, which is agriculture. So what does it mean to you to bring this to the citizens of downtown Reading and say, here? There's this bountiful feast. <laughs> it's a bountiful feast. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very humbling, um, and it's an honor. 
Uh, this is something that, you know, this isn't about me. Uh, but when you say, what does it mean to me? This is something that I've been working on uh, for many years. Mm -hmm. I was at Alvernia uh, finishing my master's degree. And I started to focus on uh, sustainable agriculture and sustainable communities, sustainability mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. um, and that, you know, it was a, a, a core concept of, you know, how uh, we need to engage, uh, you know, socially, with community development, creating safe environments mm -hmm. um, and neighborhoods where we know each other, you know, um, we can rely on each other and we do things for and with each other. It's about our local economies, mm -hmm. you know, keeping uh, our trades local, um, keeping the money local, supporting local business. Uh, and it's also about the environment, yeah. you know, so well, keeping our downtown area cr clean, having the park open and accessible and available. But, you know, we're talking about nature therapy. It feels so good, especially right now, yeah, to does. be able to, you know, put, take your shoes off and stand in some grass and be out in the sunshine. And, you know, even in downtown Reading, this is possible. You know, we have urban uh, plots that are sponsored around our city, you know, um, that are encouraging our residents to take care of the environment, to cultivate their own food. And this all makes sense. So, you know, that's why it's meaningful for me, because I can, you know, through that lead our community, act as the catalyst to just give the experience to anybody who wants to partake in it. All of those things that you mentioned, why they're important to you, it sounds to me are being addressed by very specific things that will take place and will be featured at the Penn Street Market. When you talked about economy, mm -hmm. um, just keeping it real, yeah. if you want to eat a healthy produce and vegetable diet and you mm -hmm. go to the grocery store, by darn, it's the most expensive aisle. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, and and that's a shame. And How do you so make it affordable? The market, to, yeah, here. the market brings it to the people, makes it affordable. So we're cutting out all of that overhead and that carbon footprint of you know where is it coming from? It's harvested, it's put on a train, it's put on an airplane, yeah, it's flown yeah, yeah. in, it's packaged. It's okay. So the produce that you're going to be seeing at the market is coming from a farm less than 20 mile radius from you, more than likely harvested that morning by the person who's standing wow. behind the table, you know, um, and then we have. A lot of different programs in place uh, to help support um, and make this affordable to eat healthy for everyone. One of the biggest programs that we have is support from the Friends of Reading Hospital and what they have done is given us an allowance and through a program they've created called Burke's Farm Bucks we will be able to match any supplemental assistant program that's being used for example SNAP, WIC, Farmer's Market Nutrition uh, Program coupons. There's also a senior version for that. So up to $10 each market day. Let me put Wait this into place. Yeah. If you come and your family is using SNAP benefits, yes. so those benefits are available for fruits and vegetables. If you come to the information table and you uh, swipe your SNAP card for $10, we will match up to $10 each day that you visit the market. So now all of a sudden you have $20 of spending power to feed your family fresh fruits and vegetables. That is so sweet. What it a is. program. It's an amazing, Huge value. it's an amazing support system. Um, in addition to that, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration. And, and so, you know, who are the key players? We have Redesign Reading involved. You mm -hmm. know, Redesign Reading is hosting this market. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Reading uh, health system involved through the Friends Board of Reading Hospital. We also have a key component here of uh, the Food Trust from Philadelphia. What, is, what I mentioned, mentioned earlier. That. What is that? Um, so they're an organization and they've been working predominantly in Philadelphia. They're starting to branch out a little bit mm -hmm. um, and their key focus is, is food access. Uh, so they are putting in place um, an allotment of $5 tokens for children. So now when we talk about that circle, we have Amanda in the schools right now educating our, our, our children on healthy eating, fruits and vegetables, identifying them. Uh, and she's inviting them to come to the market this summer. So when they come to the market this summer, Amanda's gonna be on stage every week providing a cooking demonstration of a healthy recipe using local ingredients that are purchased right there from the farmers at the market. And then they'll you know, be able to taste everything so they understand how it tastes. They'll be given a recipe so that they can take it and shop for the ingredients with their Burke's Farm Bucks. And then uh, each child 
will be awarded five dollars of spending money through the same program that is full circle that's a beautiful program this demonstration is there a specific time on thursdays that takes place it'll be at one o'clock so one o'clock there's a demonstration 11 to 4 30 there are the stands Yep, eleven thirty to four thirty. This uh, five thirty. Excuse me. The stands are available. And music. Uh, we have music. We also have our local city-based restaurants. A nice sampling of them that will have prepared food, so anybody can come and grab lunch, grab dinner, um, enjoy the music. Uh, we have a community art. Uh, project that's being hosted by two of our young artists in our community, uh, Juan Carlos Ruiz and Theron Cook. So you can come and actually paint a mural uh, that's going to oh be goodness. growing throughout the 17 weeks, and it'll be on display. Uh, and and just you know, we have the Reading Public Library involved. Uh, we have so many of our organizations involved. We have Reading Theater Project involved. So this is an experience. There is a lot to it. It is a huge experience. And in the coming weeks, you can make sure you check in here to the Penn Street Market Experience It with your host, Lucine Sahelnik, also the director of the market, and find out more about it. Thank you for the brief overview. And I know what I'm doing every Thursday <laughs> the rest of the summer. I hope to see you at the Penn Street Market. Thanks, Joe.